The story about the battery electric or hybrid Triton Uta has changed since we last talked to Mitsubishi Japan. For the sixth generation Uta, every way of going electric is planned, including a plugless hybrid that was made in house. Hiroshi Nagaoka, Vice President of Engineering and Product Planning, said, To give you a technical answer, it's really hard to package a PHEV because we have to build the frame so that it can also fit the battery and fuel tank. In the end, smaller batteries are what plug-in hybrids for youths need to work. It would be easier to package a Triton that runs on batteries alone or a plugless series parallel combination. Hybrid is very important because we might be able to change our current frames so that HEV can fit in the short term. It would be a great way to get electricity and cut down on CO2, Nagaoka-san said. Even though Mitsubishi is an alliance partner and could, theoretically, use Nissan Z-Power technology, they say this hybrid system isn't best for heavier cars. Some people thought Nissan would keep making e-power versions of the next Navara and Patrol, but it sounds more like the 4X4S will switch right to solid-state battery-powered EVs. Nagaoka said, as you know, e-power is actually running as a battery EV, so there's no gearbox, which is tough for a bigger car. That's why e-power works great for small cars but not for trucks. That's why Mitsubishi is making its own technology. Nagaoka confirmed that his engineers are working with suppliers right now to find an answer that could be shared with the alliance in the future. It's most likely going to be a diesel-electric hybrid, maybe based on the new Triton's 4N16 twin-turbo diesel four-cylinder engine that makes 150 kilowatts per 470 newton meters. It wasn't said if it would be set up like the Outlander PHEV or more like the systems from Toyota and Honda. So, we haven't decided yet which technology should come first, he said, making sure we knew all three choices were still open. Mitsubishi is still committed to FEVs, even though its mid-term plan doesn't show it, and execs are still hopeful about making a plug-in hybrid UTA. But technology for batteries will get better, and then we'll be able to make plug-in hybrids with smaller, more efficient batteries. As Nagaoka put it, I think that's much better than a battery EV because BEV pickup trucks use so many batteries, just look at the Ford F-150. That's why they are also looking into it. Please support our channel, like, comment, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching.